Hello everybody, hi. Just to sh I just want to show you this car that I found online. It's um, it's a Golf, VW Golf. I'm going to buy this. It's uh, £200, but the only problem is that the engine seized. The reason being is because um, whoever had it didn't have any oil in there. Um, I'm going to buy this car because I'm going to do an electric car conversion and it's going to start ASAP. Um, like I said, it's um, everything's fine with the car. The gearbox is working. Everything's fine. It's got MOT and tax on there and it's ready to go. Um, so um, hopefully I should get this um, it's, this is the picture that I've got this is the actual car and um, yep perfect I'm gonna buy this car right what it is is um, I've been in the past six months I've been doing some research and I've just found out that um, you can convert any car into electric I never knew that I've been around for a long time now and I've been for the past 10 years I've always wanted an electric car but it's expensive or they're small and they're not really, you know, not really that good. So I thought I decided let me build my own electric car. I'm on a on a bit of a bit of a budget. I'm on a mission. So I've been doing research, found loads of information on here. You know, like I said, every night more or less, researching, researching, reading, speaking to people, emailing and doing every every possible thing that you can imagine. Here here we go, we've got um a motor, and that's just an, a DC electric motor, and you can see it's sort of connected to the to a gearbox there it goes straight into the car very straightforward simple technology motor controller throttle pedal you know little bits and bobs contactors relays you know instruction manual and that's it that's all you need to do load, load of batteries in the front some batteries in the back and stick it in and away you go all right you can buy you can always buy a car like that but that's no good to me because that car's no good so it's simple, you just got to connect, connect, the, connect the gearbox to the electric motor and all you need to do is get some couplings made up, put the two together and then away you go. Now thanks to, um, thanks to YouTube, I've managed to, to um, source this information, I was just scrolling along YouTube as I, as I normally do, um, browsing along, clicking on links and going along and sometimes you end up in the wrong places and I came across uh, electric motor car conversion and I was just shocked I couldn't believe it I just came came to a to, to, to I froze I couldn't couldn't believe what I was looking at I mean I thought I was dreaming at the time but I just pursued it followed it on and learned about the EV1 I learned about the EV1 car and um, what the story behind it was um, basically what happened was is uh, General Motors um, invested uh, I think half a billion along with the government done is probably the same or, or was it 50 50 whatever and um, they they leased out thousands of um, um, EV EV1 electric cars to the um, to the American citizens here, here here it is it's an EV1 and it's got about 100 mile range on it it was a beautiful car at the time in late 90s and then I think uh, three four years down the line um, they decided to um, crush them all for whatever reason. Nobody knows the real reason behind it, but we all know what the reason was. It's all down to do with all. Um, this was such a huge success. Um, they just they, they just couldn't carry it on. And it's really sad because I didn't get to get one of these cars and nor did anybody else. Um, it's a shame because um, Toyota done, tried to do a similar thing as well with their RAV, RAV4 electric vehicle. Um, but they um, they got halted by some celebrities who um, slept over at the uh, graveyard place and they stopped them from doing it and um, Honda um, had a small electric car and they tried to do the same as well again that was in America but um, yeah you know I'm out to build my own car um, I do I do a lot of recycling myself you know I always recycle everything so that's the good thing about buying buying a, a, a car that that's on it on its way out you know that, that's the great thing about it you know, I mean, my, my my actual job is recycling. That's what I actually do. That's what I work. That's what I do for a living. But um, this this is going to be a really good good project. But hopefully, it's not a project. I'm on a tight tight budget. I'm trying to keep everything as cheap as possible. Um, I'm trying to buy a, um, a, a, a motor from from a forklift. Use a motor from a forklift DC motor. I'm going to get it. Get some adapter plates plates made up. Um, that would be this thing here an adapter plate which holds the two together get the couplings made up second hand a dc motor connect that to the car and um, have a whole series series of batteries um, to go 
and and that's about it really and hopefully i'll be able to um, drive everywhere get about 40 miles range recharge from home work whatever you know to and from anywhere you know if you if you go anywhere i'm sure people will let you charge nobody's you know it only costs one pound 25 really to charge up all the batteries which isn't really a lot of money you can charge up in any, any stores big suits um, sh shop shopping shopping um shopping centers big big shopping brand you know tesco sainsbury's whatever you can you can you can charge up just about anywhere you know and it's, it's 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 not you know the insurance is cheap and you're saving the environment you're doing a good thing you know you're not polluting you're not you're not you're not using gas gasoline petrol and it's just such a great idea you know it's it's, it's something that everyone should be doing and and you know i'm here here to, to to pass on my information and everything that i know all my knowledge is all free and whoever wants to work alongside me as a team and and, and help me and, and help themselves you know be more than welcome i'm based in london and um you know come along you know bring your bring your car as well with me along i mean i'm working i'm working here there and everywhere i'm doing bits and bobs on on the side of the street and if i can get plays somewhere and if someone can um you know you know i've, I've got i've got tools and if anyone can share anything with me or whatever that, that this is the way forward so i'm about to start it i'm about to you know go, go and pick this car up bring bring it bring it home park well you know park it on the street obviously and, and just basically start working with, with it and, and get it up up and running so hopefully i should be finished after some some time after the olympics 2012 you know and um i, I will will show the prime minister my, my um my my car and let him know exactly what i've done and hopefully um he he, he will do something about um, conversions, electric car conversions, mainly electric car conversions is what I'm after. You know, we need we need more, more, more. I mean, the parts are expensive. I mean, m most of the parts I have to get from America. Apart from the only thing really I'm not getting is is electric motor. Everything else really, I mean, is is you have to order it fr from the states, in, and it's it's a shame because you know people need to be educated about this. This is this is quite easy to do. It's not difficult, and any anyone can do this. You know. It's, it's straightforward technology, you know, and it's it's just it's so rewarding, you know, to, to do this, you know, to get in to get in your car and know that you're saving money and you're saving the planet, and that's it. So, um, like I said, anyone anyone wants to um wants to help or wants to to do a conversion as well, I'll be very happy to help, you know, because I'll be learning, you'll be learning, we'll be helping each other. Any ideas, anything that's got anything, anyone needs any help, you know regardless of age or or sex or whatever you know or, or nationality you know be more more than happy to help anybody anywhere and um please get get in contact with me and let me know and um just watch this space i'll be back